Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. And today I am doing part two of decluttering my Alex drawers. And today I am going to be going through my foundations, concealers, and primer drawer. My last video, I did blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So if you want to see that, I'll have it linked in the description box below, as well as my entire playlist dedicated to decluttering and organizing my makeup collection. I feel like I have tried out quite a few foundations and concealers over the years because I'm always looking for something that is going to suit my fair skin tone. I definitely know what I look for in a foundation and a concealer now. So I think this will make it quite easy to declutter some stuff. I'm really excited, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we have my primers, concealers, and foundations. Now, a lot of these I do use, but I need to get rid of some because this is just, this is just too much. So let's start with concealers because I know there are some in here that need to go. Okay, first up I have some color correctors. I love this green one. This is a white concealer from Makeup Revolution. Okay, I'm pale, but I'm not that pale. That can go. This is a yellow color corrector. I do really like that. Same with this green one from BYS. This green one from Inoxa. Look, I've already got two. I don't really need another one. And this is the one I reach for the least, so that can go. And then this is a peach colored corrector, I'm pretty sure. Or is this a concealer? Dark circle concealer. Oh, it's a concealer in the shade porcelain. Hmm, that actually looks quite nice. I don't remember what this is like, so I think this can go in the to try pile. All right, this next little section, I have some high-end concealers, and I think I'm going to be getting rid of most of these. I did recently try out this Jouer concealer again. It is a nice formula around a medium coverage, but the shade is just a bit too fair for my liking now. Look at that. Super, super fair. So although I did like the formula, I don't dip into it because of the shade. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Next, I have the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. Now this is a nice shade, but oh my God, it is so thick and sticky. It is so hard to blend under the eyes and it just feels really, really heavy. So I'm going to be getting rid of that one. Next, I have the Fenty Concealer. This is in the shade 110. I don't think I liked it that much. It is quite a fair shade. I think it will be too fair for me. Ooh. I think I might try this and see how it goes. Otherwise, I'll get rid of it firstly because the shade is too fair. And then if I don't like the formula, then two reasons to get rid of it. The Cover FX Concealer I do really like, so I'll be keeping that. And of course I need to keep the iconic Tape Shape. Tape Shape, Shape Tape. Oh my God, it's been that long since I used it. I don't even remember what it's called. All right, next section. I think I'm going to keep all of these. I've got two of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds. Oh my God, now that I have hair, it's just bloody everywhere. So I've got two of the Maybellines. This BYS Full Coverage Concealer is really nice. The Essence Camouflage Matte. It seems as though I've used quite a bit of it, but I can't remember what the formula is like. I'll put that in my to try pile. And then this one here by Mecca Max. I haven't used it for a while, but I did enjoy it. So I will keep that. I think I might try and use this up because there's really not a lot left. All right, next lot of concealers. I'm going to be getting rid of these two here by NYX, the Can't Stop, Won't Stops. Although they come in nice, fair shades, I found that the formula really settled into my fine lines and it made my under eyes look quite crepey no matter what powder I used with it. So I'll be getting rid of those. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade five. I have the tiniest bit left, so I will try and use that up. This is the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Concealer. I did try this out again recently because I knew I was doing this declutter and it is a nice formula. I think if I use too much powder, it can look a bit 
crepey under the eyes, but it is a nice medium coverage and I like the shade, so I'm going to be keeping that one. Then I have one here by Colourpop. This is in the shade Fair 02. It's been so long since I used it that it's split. I have a feeling the shade's going to be way too fair, but I do remember I loved the formula. Oh yeah, that is... A f oh shit, I'm tipping upside down. <laughs> That is a very fair shade. Look, I don't have much left, so I'm gonna put this in my use up pile. And then if I continue to use it and I find that it's too light, I'll get rid of it. This is another one by Essence, the Camouflage Concealer as well. This one is the Camouflage Plus. And then this is just the regular Camouflage. I can't even remember what the difference is. I feel like it's nearly empty, so that can go in my to use pile. And then here I have the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. Now from memory, this wasn't as full coverage as I was hoping, like the foundation is, but it is a nice shade and a nice formula, so I'm going to be keeping that one. Next lot of concealers are all by Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Hydrate. I don't think I liked this. I really can't remember my thoughts on that, so that's going in the to try pile. I love the Conceal and Define concealers, so I'll be keeping those. And then this one here is the Fast Base Concealer. Again, I can't really remember. Similar to the Maybelline Age Rewind. Ooh, that has split. Look, I think that one's time is up that formula just does not look right, so that can go. All right, and then this section here, I have my L'Oreal Infallible Concealers. Oh my God, this would have to be my favorite concealer ever. I freaking love it. And then I have two of the e.l.f. 16 Hour Chemo Concealers. These shades are a bit fair for me, so I would like to pick up some deeper ones. Well, they're just, they're very brightening shades, they don't match my skin tone, but I do love the formula, so I'll keep those. Here I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealers. I love these, and I did pick up some shades that match my skin tone, so I've been using these non-stop. And then here I have two of the CoverGirl True Blend Concealers. These are also really nice, but the shades are very light for me. And I don't know which one I like better. Let me see. Oh, okay. So L100 is here and L200 is here. They're quite similar in depth, but we've got a neutral undertone and a cool undertone. I think I will keep the neutral undertone and get rid of L200. All right. Well, I think I did pretty well for concealers. These are the ones that I will be getting rid of. And then this is my to try pile, possibly declutter. And this is my need to use up pile. Okay, on to the primers. This is my color correcting section and I think I'm going to keep all of these. I've got my One True Love, the L'Oreal Infallible, the Stila One Step Correct, the Astralis Color Click and the Rimmel Insta CC Primer. I'll be keeping all of those. Next, I have some glowy primers. This designer brand's Rise and Prime Luminescent Primer is so beautiful. I'll definitely be keeping that one. Here I have the L'Oreal Glow Cherie Primer. As you can see, I am nearly through with this. I love, love, love this primer. It leaves such a nice glow to the skin. I think I should put this in my to use pile because let's be real, it's nearly done. Then I have a few more glowy primers. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. They don't sell this anymore, but it is a gorgeous glowy primer. I'll definitely be keeping that. This is the NYX Away We Glow Strobing Cream. I picked this one up to see if it was a dupe for the MAC Strobing Cream. I love the MAC, so I'm going to keep this mini one here. And I also have a large bottle here that I'm going to keep. Back to this though, the shade is quite similar to the strobe cream in gold light, but I find the NYX formula is a little thicker. It's not that big of a deal. If you don't want to spend the money on the MAC, this definitely does a good job. So I'm going to be keeping that. This is another one by L'Oreal, and I'm pretty sure this is what they replaced the Lumi Magique with, which I wish they didn't because this is just way too glowy from memory and it has a pink undertone look at that that's like metallic 
I think that can go. Next, I have some more from the L'Oreal Infallible range. This is the Mattifying Primer, and from memory, it is quite nice. It is a gel consistency. I'm going to keep that one. And then this one here is the Pore Refining Primer. Now, from memory, this split a little bit. Yeah. If you can see there, the formula is just split, and even though you shake it, it doesn't quite gel back together. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I do have other pore filling primers in my collection, so I'm not desperate to keep that one. Next, I've got a mini of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really need to try this out more because everyone raves about it, but the few times I've tried it, I don't think I've been that impressed. So I might put this in my to try pile. And then this is the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. Again, this is a pore filling primer. This one is actually a really nice formula. I'm going to keep this one because it leaves such a smooth finish to the skin. All right, so primers I only really got rid of. These two by L'Oreal and this color corrector. I'm going to use up my Glocherie and test out the Toucher Primer again. All right, and then lastly for foundations. Okay, let's start. I've got the Designer Brands Luminous Hydrating Foundation. This is a stunning formula. It looks so beautiful on the skin. I do have two shades here. I am in between them, so I'm going to keep both. Two by Revolution, the Conceal and Hydrate and the Conceal and Define. I enjoy both of these foundations, just depending on how my skin is. Next, I have the BYS Full Coverage Foundation. This is a really nice full coverage foundation, very affordable as well. All right, I'm going to keep all of my Maybelline Superstays. I love this foundation. Same with the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. These are my go-to for long-lasting makeup that holds up during sweat, so I'll be keeping all of those. Next, I've got the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. 110 is my favorite. I also have 102 Fair Porcelain. Here is 102 and here is 110. As you can see, they're both quite similar in depth, but we've got a neutral and a cool undertone. So I'll get rid of 102 as I am more neutral. These two I think I'll get rid of. From memory, the Revolution Pro Foundation doesn't last very long on the skin, so that can go. And then the Essence Camouflage. I think it was a bit too dark for me and it wasn't that long lasting, so. Yeah, that can go as well. I can't even be bothered to try it. <laughs> Next, I have this ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I have used quite a bit of it, but I'm pretty sure it's way too dark. I mean, light. And the pump is... Ugh, so shit. It does look quite fair, but I think it was a nice foundation. Hmm, I might test that one out, actually. Okay, the BYS Glass Glow Foundation. I wasn't the biggest fan of this, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I love my Astralis Fresh and Flawless. Same with my MAC Studio Fix Foundations. Now, the Fenty Beauty, what was this called? This is the Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 100. Now, this has got to be too light for me. I found with Fenty, the problem was even though they released so many shades, I still couldn't find the perfect shade for me. Like this undertone looks great, but it's just too light. And then when I went up, the undertones were either too pink or too yellow. So I think I'm going to pass this one on. It's just too light for me and I don't reach for it. The Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I have not used this in so long, but it's super full coverage, great for mixing with foundation. So I'm going to keep that. And then lastly in here, I have the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. Again, this one has split because it's been so long since I used it. Now this is a super full coverage foundation, but I'm pretty sure it's too fair. A very liquidy, lightweight foundation. Oh, it does feel so nice. Look, I think I might test that one out. I'm pretty sure it's too fair, but from memory, it's a really, really nice formula. Look at that coverage. Oh my God. All right, and then up on my vanity, I have had a selection of foundations I have been trying out. The CoverGirl True Blend, I'm pretty sure I liked this. The shade was just a bit off, but I'm going to keep testing that one out. I've also been enjoying this CoverGirl Clean Fresh foundation. 
And then these foundations are all in my to try pile. So to that, I'm going to add the Jouer foundation and the ColourPop. So that means I'll be getting rid of the BYS, the Maybelline, Fenty, and these two here. All right, well, that is all for today's decluttering video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. If you missed part one, make sure you go and check that out. Otherwise, I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.